Hi everybody and welcome back to iBix Running. I am Coach Rachel and today we have a 60 minute treadmill walk workout. I hope you guys are ready to get sweaty. If you miss any speed or incline changes, don't worry. If you look over onto this side of your screen, we're gonna have that all displayed for you over there. And then if you look onto the opposite side of your screen, you're gonna see this nice long progression bar somewhere over here, I think. And that's gonna show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Yes, you are gonna need a towel because yes, we are gonna get sweaty. Make sure you have a water bottle handy look down at your tread hit that start button in three in two and one we're gonna start it off two five three five and we're here for a minute all right so it's a walking workout we hit the actual start button there we go two five three five I really want you to take your time we're here for 60 minutes right so take your time Warm it up. We're gonna have a lot of speed incline, uh, speed changes and incline changes. So, even though we are walking, we are going to move. If you miss any calls, don't worry. Don't worry. You'll get it on the next one. So, we're here two, five, three, five for about 30 more seconds. Roll the shoulders down and back. You can roll them forward if you want. We're going two minutes, 3040. We're gonna start speeding it up, okay? In 20. Shake it out. <sighs> it's gonna be a good workout. You know, walking is like a mindless motion, right? Usually you can just think and do it at the same time is what I kind of mean. So it's not like it's not like something where you're 100%. You can focus and like kind of drift. Here we go, 3040, let me elaborate. 3040. What I mean is like you could be walking, right? And you can then like, okay, I have to do this today, I have to do this today. You can start kind of multitasking inside of your brain. That's what it does for me. It kind of like opens my mind up so that I can kind of put all my ducks in a row. I think that's why I love it so much. Good, so we're here for two minutes. Then we have one more. I'll have a couple more minutes. The warm up's about seven minutes long and then we'll get into the actual workout, okay? So. Two minutes here, 3040. Nothing on the incline. The next two minutes, we just take it up onto an incline. So I just had this conversation right before I started this workout that I don't think I actually do walk enough. It is probably one of the most amazing exercises. So usually when you think of like working out, you, if, you, if you run with us, right? You're like, okay, I'd rather just run. I feel like I'm gonna get more out of it. But sometimes your body, right? Your body just needs to recover. We have to push ourselves. We also have to equally be nice to our body, right? It moves us around day to day. It's the thing that holds us together. So if we're just constantly banging it up and beating it up, it's gonna give out eventually. So you have to be nice to it, right? That's what workouts like this are for. It's not that they aren't challenging because they are challenging. But the amount of damage or pressure you're putting onto your knees, your hips, is a lot less. Sometimes you gotta just, you just gotta be nice. Gotta be nice to your body. I'm not very nice. We're getting the hang of it. We're gonna go up on the incline. Yeah, two on the incline, okay? In 15 seconds. The good news is we don't walk over four or five. Four or five is a pretty fast walk, but you can kind of pick your pace. Good. We go in three, two, and one. Just a two on the incline pace can stay the same wherever you're at. So we're gonna start. We have uh, about two more minutes. We're gonna into our warm up after this, all right? We're gonna complete our first seven minutes. And then we're gonna go into our walks, okay? We have speed walk. So it's gonna be the faster. We have walking on incline, which is also gonna be difficult. And then we'll just have our base walk, right? So there's three different types of walks we're doing. Walking on the incline, our speed walk, and our base walk. You can change those rhythms throughout the whole entire block, or you can keep the numbers the same. Should work out today, baby. Oh, let's get it, baby boo. All right, here we go. Shake out the arms, right? We're settling in in four minutes into the workout. This incline doesn't seem so aggressive, right? I don't even think it goes too high. I don't think we take it up too high, but I don't remember what's in block two. I don't remember the incline pieces. So I could be, I could be fibbing, you know? We could have a seven on the incline. 
honestly though, because since in the last walking workout we did, since I had uh, injured my back, that I would try to run for like a portion of the time and then take down my speed, walk on the incline without touching the handlebars, fire. Hamstrings, fire. Calves, fire. Hip flexors, fire. It works, I promise you. The key is to keep your body in motion, right? Keep it moving every single day. 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is, do something. Doing something is better than doing nothing. I always say that. All right, you can take the incline down, but we're taking the speed up, 0.5. And five, four, three, two, flat road, three, five, four, five. So now we start picking up the pace, right? This is our first speed walk, but it's still part of the warm up. So after this, we go right into the workout. Base incline speed. Oh, we have a base incline speed incline. <laughs> That's where you're gonna feel it. It's not, it's on a three. You got it, okay? Three on the incline. How you guys living today? What's the news? I'm ready to work. I'm ready to get this body in motion. I was like super excited to see this workout. 60 minutes of a, as hour long walking. Like for me, if I wanna go for a walk, this is it right here, you know? I like, feel like I'm getting the most out of it. Feel like I'm walking. So you're gonna walk, probably gonna get like four miles in. Like that's a, that's a great workout. Because I am a creature of someone who wants to push myself. Like the numbers mean something, right? I'm a numbers person. I'm always in my head. I'm like, I'll just, do, I'll just do half not more. I'll just do this. I'll just push myself 0.5 higher, you know? Like I'm constantly trying to push myself to my limits, but I'm never just like enjoying the moment, right? And I feel like walking for me is super enjoyable. Because I'm not like stressing my body out. I'm just working it out. Maybe there is a difference. Pop bobble right here. 20 seconds. You guys ready? Base walk. 3040. Flat on the incline, okay? This starts to warm up. Or so this starts to work out. So you can take it down. 3040. And 3, 2, 1. All right, flat on the incline. We're here for a minute. We go on our incline walk. So the pace is gonna stay the same. We just take the incline up to the uh, three. 304 out. Oh yeah. 304. I'm probably gonna keep my pace relatively the same the whole entire workout. Like close to, I'm gonna do like a four the whole time. And then just kind of play around with the base. And then every now and then, play around with the speed I'm saying, or the incline. Every now and then when I need to take it back, I'll go back to maybe like a 3-5. So it's up to you, you know? There's a lot of wiggle room between 3-0 and 4-5 to get like a good walking pace. But when it says incline walk, I do want you to try to get to that breathier walk, right? The one that's like, oh man, okay. Okay, I'm walking. Okay, it feels a little bit tighter. I have to tighten up a little bit more to move my legs a little faster. All right, take it on to a three incline in three, two, one. You can keep the pace the same here. We're on our incline walk. The next one is our speed incline. So I want you to try to increase it by at least five, okay? So if you're already at a four or five and you increase it past that, you're crazy. And you can walk? Oh man, these little stubby legs. I can't walk at a five oh. Although like I have some for, um, people on my staff who are speed walkers. Yo, it's impressive. They can walk almost as fast as I can run. Like probably equivalent. That is no joke. They all got some nice bodies too, man. Like it does work speed walking. It's gotta, someone shed light on that Olympic sport. Let's bring it back. In good form, you know, heel to toe. We're rolling it forward. Good, we have one more minute here. We're gonna stay on the incline. We're gonna increase the speed. Then we just take the incline down to keep the speed fast. And then we go back to our base. 
See how it kind of works though? You're like, oh, okay, you kind of get it. You do that a couple times <clears throat> and it's gonna go by really fast. All right, so we're walking, walking up, walking fast up, walking fast straight, recover. You're like, oh, ah. it all makes sense, you know? You got this fun sequence. All right, you ready to speed it up by 0.5? 15 seconds. Keep it on that three on that incline. And 10, get ready. Speed walk. Speed walk it out for three, two, pick it up. Oh yeah, see? Now you feel it. Wow, good news. We're here for two minutes. You're like, oh good. She's always making things up and forgetting to tell us. You got it. You feel it? Oh yeah. Yeah, by the ankles. Working those muscles right there. Pump the arms a little harder. Squeeze the core a little more. Who said walking wasn't a workout? <clears throat> you come talk to us. You get to try, you roll it up right here. You do the same thing. I love when people say that. Oh, it's not really a workout. Ha, tell it to my sweat and my dirty clothes. They, think that, they seem to think I've been working out. You got it, guys. We got 60 seconds. We gonna keep the pace the same, okay? Oh, no, you take it down. Take it, take it down. Flat row, flat row, flat row, flat row, flat row. Oh, man. Pace the same. This is two minutes. That one was one. I'm great at math, I told you. Great at math. It's a lot of changes in this one. That's why I said, even I, Oh, what does the screen say? Just kidding. All right, now we're here for two minutes. So we're on a flat road, right? Should feel a smidgen easier onto your body. Oh yeah, guess what though? It doesn't get harder than this moment right here. So if you feel like this is challenging, good. Hold on to it. You have a minute, 15 seconds left. We're gonna take it down to our base after this. 3040. Recover walk. Just keep remembering, this is an hour long workout. We're about 12 minutes in, so we're still, still got a pretty decent amount of time left. So if you need the recovery, take the recovery. If you're new to working out, take the recovery. You're not gonna do yourself a disservice if you walk a little slower for a minute, okay? You will if you quit, but not if you slow down. Keep it working. 30 seconds, 3-0, 4 -0. Pump it out, pump it out. Towel off when you need it. Hydrate when you need it. Last 15. Oh yeah. 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, three, oh, four, oh. Good, you're here for a minute. And then we start picking it back up, right? So the next one after this is just on the incline. You can keep the pace the same. Then we speed up the incline, right? Then we lose the incline, we keep the pace. Now we take it back to our base. I think we have three rounds of this. And then we hit the end of our block one. Sequencing might change on block two. Our base is only a minute. <clears throat> so we only have 20 seconds left. You take it right back up. You can keep the pace the same. I'm gonna increase it a little bit. I want a little bit more, I want a little bit more oomph. But we take the incline up to a three, 10. So it's still at a 3040. But like I said, 3040, you have some room. There's a difference between 30 and 35. Pick it up, three on the incline. You feel the core instantly, like you feel like the internal rotation of the hips, right? And the core starts to activate lower abdomen, engages. 
upper core tightens up, right? That's what we're looking for. Good. So, I can climb walk right here for two minutes. Good, get comfy. Get comfy. Then comes the hard one, the speed with the incline. You guys are doing, doing great. Guess what? Quarter of the way there. Three more quarters. 25% done of the workout. Where are we at? Here? Here? Somewhere on the progression bar? Good. Just like that, one minute's already done. One more minute. One more minute. We pick up the pace. It's a lot, it's a lot going on in this workout today. But I promise you, you're gonna feel good. You're gonna feel nice and nice, like I always say. We take it up, right? Speed incline is only for one minute. And it's a three, five, four, five. So wherever you are, try to increase it by five. We're only gonna be there on the incline for a minute. Remember that pace we're gonna hold for about three minutes. The incline is what we release. So 20 seconds. See if we can increase the pace. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Ready for it? In 10, in eight, five, four, three, two. Pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Good. We got it, right? Squeezing the core. Feeling it in the glutes, right? Remember we're rolling from heel to toe as we're walking. Remember our feet don't go over each other. Kind of just walking like normally. For speed walking, I think the form for speed walking is toe, heel to toe, but I'm not sure. That I don't know, I want research that. Keep going, keep going. 30 seconds, we keep the pace, we hit the flat road. You'll feel a release. Almost. Small, because the incline isn't super aggressive, but you'll feel it. You'll know what I'm talking about. You ready to feel it? Hold tight right here. 10, eight, five, four, three, two, hit that flat road. Feel the difference, right? We're in our speed walk, and we're here for two. But we're on a flat road. You get your base walk after this. This is now starting to click in. Yeah. It's like Kind of like a hill, I guess. 90 seconds left. We got one more round, I think. One whole full round. In the first half. Yeah, each block is different. We're almost done with the first block. First block, I'm pretty sure is the longest too. Yeah, 26 minutes. It's a majority of the first half of the workout. One more minute. Then we take it down 3040, flat road. <sighs> 3040. Come on, come on. Bam, bam, bam. Even if you're outside and you're like listening to this on your phone, you could just start picking up your pace a little bit more. And then when we go back to the base walk, you can slow it down. You'll feel it. It's like right before you, you do like the little hop to get your foot forward. That's the pace we're looking for. You ready? 3-0, 4-0, base walk. Head up at the base in 10, in eight, in six, five, four, three, two. All right, you're in your base walk. Recover, this is where I like to hydrate. I'm quite thirsty today, so hydrate when needed. Base is only a minute, remember that. 
face is only a minute. Uh oh, I hit something. Touch the button. Good, we have 30 seconds. We're gonna keep the pace the same. We're gonna start hitting that incline. Base, base incline. Speed incline, speed, base. Oh yeah, 20 seconds. We're going back to a three. Back to a three on the incline. Two minutes there. In six, five, four, three, two. And give me that three on the incline. Two minutes right here. <sighs> Enjoy, guys. Let it challenge you a little bit, right? It's not our fastest walk because we're gonna take it into our speed walk in about a minute, 45 seconds. But you can feel it is working, right? It's not easy. You feel a little bit of sweat anywhere. I guess mine's always here though. Keeping it graceful. I'm good at winking also, clearly. Woo! Got 20 minutes into this workout now. It's going by like that, you know? The next two rounds are gonna go by quick. Cause there's a little, they're not as crazy with like what we're doing and how we're changing it up. It's a little bit more understandable and I think it goes a little quicker. Okay, we have one more minute. Still challenging though. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. Cause I feel like you won't be mad at me. Remember I said the incline doesn't go that high? Well, that was just the first half. That was the first block. We got three blocks, like I said. And he's moving himself so different. All right, get ready. Hit that three on the incline. We're already there. We're gonna take it up 0.5. One minute speed incline. 30 seconds. Wherever you are, you're increasing by five. It's the last one in this block, speed incline. So go hard, you're here for a minute. You're gonna push yourself this minute, right? We go in 10, in eight, in six, five, four, three, two. Let's go, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. One minute here. Whew. Told you there's a difference. 0.5 is a big difference when you're walking. That's what's gonna push you between a walk and a run. If it's only 0.5, man. That's what mine is. It's like, as soon as I get to 5.5, five, I'm like, okay, I gotta run now. I can't, I can't walk. It's definitely not happening. Whew. All right, 30 seconds. Keep the pace the same. We're just taking it down to a flat road. Incline comes down. You ready for it? Oh yeah, Rachel, I'm ready for it. I knew it, I knew it. 20 seconds. Squeeze the glutes, work the core. We have 10, we have eight, we have six, five, four, three, two. Pace stays the same. Incline comes down. Two minutes here. We take it back to our base walk after this. Base walk is gonna be like your recovery moment. And then we'll go right into the second half. Second half is 20 minutes, two minutes at a time. I'll tell you about it when we get there, when we get to this base. Just keep your eyes focused, right? We're still in that faster walk here. We're still pumping the arms, still squeezing the core. Good, you got it. Don't look down. You got about a minute left, then you can come back to that base walk. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just... Checking out the second half. Woo! 
35 seconds, let's go. We're not gonna quit yet. We're gonna keep walking to the very, very end. Come on team. We want a 30 seconds, 3040. I want you to really take it to the slower side because it prepares us for the second half, right? For our second block. So I really want you to take the next minute, allow yourself to recover properly. Hold tight for another. You have 10. Hold it here. You have eight. You have six. You have five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. All right, hydrate. I told you two minutes at a time. We're increasing, the pace is gonna stay the same, increasing our incline. Yeah, 10 times. Every two minutes, you increase by one. So, you wanna pick a pace that you can hold at a two on incline, and we're going up to 11. Maybe you're not gonna walk your fastest. Maybe as we start increasing the, the incline, you might decrease your speed. You remember, you have 3 0 to 4 0. So you do have some wiggle room. But I don't want it to be like, as soon as you hit five, you go down to a three. Now we're still here to put in some work. All right, start it with something that's still challenging. Three, I'll be honest, I know it can challenge some of us, but it's not the most challenging pace. Right? So if you've been walking at a three, take it to a three two at least. All right, here we go. Give me two on the incline. There we go. I'm picking my pace, I'm gonna stick with it, okay? I'm going out of four. I'm going out of four, 3040. Oh, oh. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. If not, maybe by incline six, I take it down to a three eight, I might just stay there. I don't, I wanna stay above a three five. I am still trying to burn some fat, right? Sculpt the muscles. So it's every two minutes, we increase. So tune out the rest of the world, right? It's your workout. Whew. This is your time. If you don't wanna listen to what I have to say, all the mumbo jumbo, sometimes I try to crack jokes and be funny, then tune me out, listen to the music. Keep your eye on the board, but don't quit. All right, you've already started. We're already almost halfway through. Let's finish this together, okay? Whew. Good. We have one more minute, then we take it up to a three. You don't feel so bad right now. I feel like I got this. Oh baby, once I get to that 11, I feel like my head's gonna be in the ceiling, but if it's just as much on my face, well then, was that a tool time? Was it called tool time? It wasn't called tool time, what was that? Forget what the show was called, because the show he was on was called tool time, right? Someone gonna have to put it in the comments for me. I'm from Michigan, isn't the show I'm from Michigan? It's like supposed to be in Detroit. Michigan strong. All right, we get ready. We're gonna take it up to our three incline in 15 seconds. Here we go, here we go. And five. You're just gonna hit one button from the two to the three. No half C's. I know some of your treads, let's go hit it. Some of your treads go half C's on the incline. Two, five. So I know, you'll know. You, don't cheat yourself and take it up to only, what is it, 10 and a half? Or five and a half? Nah. We ain't going half these, we go full. Bop, bop. Mine only has full. I don't think I have half inclines. Anyway, you could cheat, trust me, I've already thought about it. But doing this quite some time. I've had some bad days, I've had some good days. Get creative with the way you're trying to allow your body to take a break. Guess what? That's just no, just a disservice to myself. Keep pushing, push yourself. You're like, well you just told us today that walking is okay. I did, okay? Sometimes you need every recovery day. That doesn't mean that it's not a smidgen challenging. There's a, a, a little, little mackerel of challenge in that. You have to feel like you're doing some work, you know? The heart rate has to peak a little bit. All right, we got about 45 seconds. 
We're gonna take it to the floor. From now until the end, you're gonna start feeling it, right? Once we're out of the three, we're in the four and the five zone on this incline. Start to get a little bit more challenging. Notice if you're struggling holding your pace. I want you to hold the incline more than trying to move fast, right? The incline's gonna change the way that we move our body. It's gonna engage different muscles. We're looking for this. That's what we're looking for. Incline, more important than speed here. 15 seconds. Four in the incline. Dun 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 dun. In 10, in eight. Five, four, three, two, pick it up. All right, we're talking about walking, right? But we're not talking about the importance of holding on to the handlebars, because we do not touch the handlebars. Ugh, ugh, they're disgusting. I'm just kidding. This is like poison. It's like, it's like the floor is lava. You play that game and do not touch the handlebars or you jump off and give me 10 burpees. Yeah, no. It's just that you want to use your body in its entirety, right? Where if you're leaning, you're holding on, right? You're leaning back. You are still working your arms. We're gonna say that, right? But like at what extent you feel like this is gonna be more work than this. You obviously can feel this is more challenging. That's why you wanna hold on to the handlebars. That's why I'm saying decrease your speed and do not lose the incline. Whew. We're gonna put in more work this way. And if we did this and try to keep that pace fast, you're also, once you do that, you hyperextend your spine, right? And you're compressing into your lower back way too much. Just keep in mind what happens to your body. When you try to cheat, do not cheat. Yeah, I got aggressive. I'm serious about my walking. Just kidding, guys, come on. Come on, come on. We take it up to a five in 30 seconds. It's gone by fast, right? On. Coming on walk number four, four or 10. I know, it's starting to feel hard. Whew. Once we're done with this block, we're in like the home stretch for the rest of the workout. This feels like you're gonna work your, your hamstrings, right? Your glutes a little bit more. We take it up. Five and three, two, just hit the five on the incline. Notice your pace, right? This is where it's gonna happen, where you're gonna feel the struggle. You're gonna feel the challenge. Fight the urge to lean back or lean too far forward. Pump the arms a little bit harder. Listen to the music, right? Squeeze the glutes. This is the moment we want right here. We want this. We got on this treadmill because we wanted to work out today, right? We got on this treadmill because we wanted to do something for ourselves. Sometimes I start my workout, you know, like in the first 20 minutes, I'm like, nah, nah. I'm not feeling it today. I'm just gonna stop. And I always say, no, 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 no. Get in there for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, dedicate 20 minutes to yourself, right? After the 20 minutes, see how your mind changes, right? See if your endorphins kicked in. See if your thought process is different. See if your warm's long, warmed up so that your body can move a little bit more freely. And then after that, I honestly always push through. Maybe I'm not pushing myself as hard that day. Maybe my body's just saying, yo, you need to, you need to chill today. But after those 20 minutes, I like prep myself, give myself that pep talk. Good, good to go. 30 seconds, we go again. We're taking it up to a six. We're getting harder, we're getting stronger. 20 seconds. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Halfway through, right? Halfway through the second block in 10. Got 10 more minutes coming up. You got this. You can start counting backwards these 10 minutes. That's how, honestly, I trick myself. Three, two, one, give me five on the incline. Or we six on the incline. Ooh, six, six on the incline. One day I get a little tired if I start counting backwards, because then it's only like, ooh, nine left. Ooh, eight left. 
Ooh, seven left. And then I only get to like three, two, one. I'm like, mm. ooh. Just giving you perspective. There's always a different way to think about something than just to give up and always feel like it's constantly hard. How is it gonna challenge you in a way that you feel like you can successfully push yourself to it? Does that make sense? You just like word it a way that you know you can do it. Cause I know you can do it. I already knew that. All right, 10 seconds. You're like, yo, you talking a lot today. I know, it's 60 minutes of me. Jabber jaws for nothing. Don't call me old jabber jaws. Let's go, 60 seconds. Oh man, you know what's happening? Seven, lucky number seven. Seven on the incline. Whew, started feeling those glutes. Started feeling it by the ankles again. I felt it more on the three. I think as I was pushing my pace a little bit more in the first block, like in the shins area. Oh yeah, baby, come on. When you walk on incline, you like double your uh, calorie burn also. It's burning my lower belly fat. You're using more of your core to pull the legs up, right? Dig deeper and push down. Pull up, push. Those are like your strides. I don't know why my face went like that, but when you're striding, that's the face you make. Let's go. Seven on the incline. Seven. Feel it, baby. Oh yeah. Last 10 minutes right here. Hey, wait, didn't you say 10 minutes last time? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I told you math is not my forte. Good. How's it feel, guys? You're like, yo, it's getting hard. It is. We got it. We got this. Uh-huh. Eight. Eight. Eight on the incline. You're like, yo, this crazy workout. We thought this walk was gonna be easy. <laughs> yeah, remember, remember for all those people? I'm not laughing at you. Remember a lot of other people that I was gonna tell you that walking was not work out. <sighs> well, fact is how I lost some of baby weight after I had my kids. With those bad boys in a stroller, packed a lunch, went for a walk every day. Like an hour walk. Took them, they had little picnics in the park. Walked them right back. They loved it, I loved it. We all got what we needed. <sighs> Can't get them to walk with me to save my life now. 12 and 14, but there was a moment where they didn't have a choice and then I pushed them in the stroller. <laughs> Love you guys. I say that like they're gonna watch my videos. They don't. You know all those kids. You guys ready? Eight on the incline, we have four left. Oh yeah. 10. They're getting harder, right? We're getting stronger though. In five, four, three, two, eight on the incline. I'm gonna lower my face a little bit, right? I'm widening my stride as I do that. That way I can, right? My pace is fast. I'm moving faster, my stride is shorter. I'm feeling this a little bit deeper in my glutes and my core, if I widen my stride. Really digging deep and getting into the nitty gritty of the muscle. All right, three more, three more, three more. That's it. Only one more minute left in this one. We go nine, 10, and 11. Nine, 10, 11 on the incline. After that, we're done with the incline for the rest of the class, okay? For the rest of the program. After we hit 11, we go to our base walk. We have one more minute here. We recover. And only about six, seven more minutes left of that workout. We change it up in block three. No incline. 
So go hard, okay? Seven minutes left here. And block number two. I'm counting backwards, remember. Count backwards. Squeeze it, climb it. We're climbing that mountain. This is the steepest mountain that's ever been created. Oh yeah. You ready to hit that nine? Look at me. I'm looking at you. Let it go. Hopefully it's not too breathy in there. Six minutes here. Coming up. Most likely gonna be the hardest part of the workout right here. I got you. You got me. Let's do it together. Three, two, nine on that incline. Yo, if nine on incline was easy, you would see everybody at the gym walking hands free nine on an incline. You don't see it that often, because it's not easy. Whew. Right? That doesn't mean you're not gonna do it though. It doesn't mean just because it's hard, you need to hand up, put, hang on to the handlebars. And you need to slow down. Whew. Six minutes here. You gonna push it. Pushing doesn't mean running always. Doesn't mean go max effort with speed. Push yourself in a different way. Cause six minutes, thinking about that, six minutes here. You're already stressing yourself out. You're already like, yo, this shit's fucking hard. Sorry, dude. I was gonna say, this shit's hard. And then I still swore again. This is hard. Come on, you got this. We got five minutes left coming up. Whew. One more minute. We get to go even steeper up this mountain. Uh huh. Got it, guys. Keep it up, keep it up. We have 20, 19 minutes left of the whole entire workout. Coming into the home stretch. Almost three quarters of the way there. You guys ready to take it up to that 10? Last two. The last two seals to do who you are, right? You're not a quitter. You're not a giver upper. You're not a let's stop while the going gets hard type of person. You are, give it to me. I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna do it. I want it type of person. Whew. I'm more out of breath now than I am when I sprint. Come on team. I feel it. My hip flexors, my gluteus maximus. Maybe I'll grow one after this. Come on team. Three, two, let's go. 10 on the incline, last four minutes. Yeah, remember six minutes, two minutes ago, seemed like forever. We're already down to four. Oh yeah, you feel it? Stick with that pattern. Push the heels down like going up a mountain, like you're hiking outside. If you were outside, right? You take three steps, look around, look at the trees. Nah, head in the game here. 90 seconds, then we go to our max. I'm gonna call it the max for the whole entire, for the whole entire workout. Hardest part of the workout in a minute and 15 seconds. You ready? Uh-huh. And you take it down to that flat road, and I want you to just soak up the moment of relief you're gonna have. You will feel it. Hold it here, 60 seconds left. You're like, okay, this is hard. It's gonna get harder one more time. Relax your mind here, okay? Don't stress yourself out. And just be like, I wanna get down, I wanna get down, I wanna get down. Inhale. When I say bigger exhale, it's gonna bring your heart rate back down. You can do it. You got it. Sweat activated. Body engaged. Mind on point. 30 seconds. 11 on the incline. Last two minutes. Then we go down. Da -da 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 -da. I know it. I know. I know. No words needed to be said in that moment. 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, I feel it in my butt. Yeah, I feel it in my calves. Two minutes here. Pace is great. 
one foot after another. Come on, come on. This is it here. You can do it. 90 seconds. 30 seconds down already. Feel it in the side glute muscles, right? Feel it in the inner thighs. Come on, coming up. 60 seconds. 60 seconds is coming up. Last one on the incline. We're gonna take it down 3040. seconds. You got it. Let's go. Let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. One foot. Front of the other. Home stretch. Good. Squeeze. Full extension all the way back, right? Dig the heel down. Push through. Push through. Last 45. Imagine my treadmill just broke and got stuck on 11 incline. And then it was always there. Oh, man. This is the things I think about. 30 seconds, we got it. I just finished this workout at 11 incline. Yeah, you do think this is easy, you call me. I wanna know. You're a supreme athlete. 15 seconds. Flat incline in 10, in eight. We go 3040. Zero on the incline, three, two, one. Take your time, All right? We're high. It's gonna take us pretty much our whole base walk to take it back down. Maybe get like 30 seconds of relief. Third round, 90 seconds, okay? We're here for two minutes, ooh. Yeah, you, yeah, you have two minutes here. Go. 90 seconds, we increase our pace. We don't touch the incline. Every 90 seconds, we have five. Increase. We started at a 3-1, we end at a 3-5. I would like you to increase at least by two, okay? If you're gonna start around like 3-5, you can walk at 4-5, at you could still increase by two, but if you're starting to shuffle by 4-5, just increase by one maybe. Wait, one more minute. I feel short. That's what I feel. Just short. I was like so tall and lengthy for a moment. All right, 90 seconds is not two minutes. We're just gonna start speeding it up. So start at your lowest end here. Remember, we have five pace increases. So wherever you are, even if you don't give me point two, that's fine. That's fine, but you need to give something. You are increasing on five different rounds, okay? You can at least do that. So start, like I said, somewhere you can increase. We go first one, three, one, four, one. You guys, 10 minutes left of this workout. That's it, that's it. We can even start doing the count back. This is technically nine. Here we go, three, one, four, one, pick it up. Three, one, four, one. Oh, oh, this is it, I can do this. This feels great. Good. Soak it up, right? I'm gonna give you the first one. We are working though, okay? This is still the workout. It's not technically the cool down. I feel like I'm taking it too easy on myself. Next one, I'm increasing by two. I only increased by one on the first one. We have a minute left. Yeah. Feel, how's the relief of the not being on the incline from now? You feel what I'm talking about as you incline, like your lower abdominals engage a little bit more. And like as you're like on a flat road, it's not so much aggressive into the core. So like you don't realize you would do a lot of core work as you walk. The walking itself is a whole is a full body exercise. I know we're standing on our legs and we're moving our feet, but like you're pumping your arms. This motion right here is working the core. The walking on a hill is activating the lower abdomen. So yes, it is a full body workout. 
Don't let anybody tell you different, okay? We take it up, three, two, four, two. Increase by one by two, increase by five, whatever, but you increase by something. Three, two, one. There we go. So we only have three more increases, three more chances to get everything you need today. We well, only have about six minutes left of the whole workout. Oh yeah, 49 minutes, 10 seconds, it'll be 50 minutes. 50 minutes you've dedicated to yourself, right? So don't give up now. You're in the home stretch. You have a few more minutes. You can see the finish line actually. And you're like, you know what? I'm gonna keep it going, because I am a fighter. I'm a worker harder. I know it's not proper English, but I know you guys are tough. You earned whatever it is after this you gonna do. Sit down, relax, you earned it. Eat a cookie, you earned it. Glass of wine, you earned it. One hour. It was great. Twenty seconds. We increase three, three, four, three. I feel like I might be a little sore in the hip flexors later. This is a feeling that you don't get that often for me. Like I don't feel this little tightness, soreness there. We go in three, two, three, three, four, three. Speed walk number three. Six minutes left. Did I say six minutes left before? If I did, I meant now. So, I feel like my moment of bliss is happening. There's like, a, I think I said this like in earlier walks or runs. You get off the treadmill and like, your body goes like, ah, oh, tingly. And it's like, wah, 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 wah. I like to say that's the moment of bliss where your body is just thanking you. And it's like, you put me through work and now you're letting me relax. So thank you, it's hugging you. You feel it. All right, about 45 seconds. We have two more. Two more, that's it. Can you believe that? We had a lot of pieces, right? I don't even know how many we had in the first one. I want to say like 15 where we do change the incline, the speed. That's at the real crazy one. 10 in the second, five and a half. Whew, we did a lot of things today. Be proud of yourself. We're gonna go up. Three, four, four, four. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. And 10. And eight. And six, five, four, three, two. Pick it up, pick it up. Three, four, four, three. Why did I say four, three? Three, four, four, four. There we go. <sighs> One more after this. Then we cool down. I can't believe it. This is how I like to spend my morning, you know? Okay, right, I gotta add the walking back in at least once or twice a week. This is, it feels good. Again, I'm not like spent where I'm done for the day, you know? I feel like I got something, I got what I needed, and I can keep it moving. I also got yuck mouth when you run. Uh, it gets all yucky. All right. 30 seconds. Last increase. Last speed walk. Last time we really push it today. Then we take it back down. Last 20. Dun, 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 dun. Music stopped. I guess I'll just start singing to you guys. All of our subscribers unsubscribe instantly. Great. Don't let her sing again. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Three, five, four, five. Last one. Dun, 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 dun. See? I got you guys. Looking good. Feeling good. Three minutes left of the workout. Right? We're 90 seconds here, and then we go right into the cool down. 
Oh, I lied. We didn't go to the full 60. It just says zero, zero, zero. So I'm just assuming it means one minute. Forgot to add that one. Got three minute cool down. Coming your way. It's all, it's all cooling down from here on out though, okay? So when I said you had two minutes left or three minutes left, I lied, you got five minutes left. But you're gonna soak it all up, you know? You're gonna enjoy it. Cause this is it, this is the hardest part right here. We go for about 40 seconds left and we take it down 3040. So we take it down wherever we started our speed walks, that's where we go. If you can remember seven minutes ago when we started block number three, our speed walks. What was that pace you started with? We're going right back there in 20. Come on, come on. Keep working, keep going. Keep breathing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. Slow it down. You're here for 90 seconds. Then we have a three minute cool down walk. How are we feeling? You feeling good? Your cool down walk can stay the same. You can increase it. There's a couple options. The option was to speed up, 4060. You could stay the same. Or if you're ready to take it all the way down, you can take it all the way down. We have about a minute before we get there. If you're gonna take it down, since it is three minutes, let's do like a descending um, pace. So we'll start at that 304, wherever we start, we're gonna every minute, maybe come down maybe 0.5, maybe a little less, 0.3. I'm gonna choose to do that option. I'm ready to cool my body down. I want the bliss to happen. Ready to feel nice for the rest of the day. We put in the work. Miles are looking great. Good, 20 seconds. Don't stop, don't quit. Keep moving, keep grooving. If any of you been here with us since the beginning, it's been like almost a year and a half, maybe two years now. It's been a long time. I don't know if it's been that long. I'm terrible at math, I tell you guys all the time. Uh, you can decrease for three, two, one. We're starting our cool down, okay? Option to speed up. If you, cra if you crazy, 4060. If you with me, I'm taking it down every minute. We have three, three left every minute. Taking it down a little bit. Uh, well, I was going to say, if you have been here since the beginning, the first episodes we didn't have any music, and it was just yours truly. What a difference the music does, you know? I like it with or without, I'm not gonna say I don't. Just a different vibe. I feel more connected. I guess it's one-on-one. -on -one. I just wanna say though, since I'm feeling in my feels, we got 20 seconds, we'll take it down, I'll wait till the next minute to tell you my feelings. Here we go. Again, you can decrease. Couple, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 at a time. We have two minutes left. Three, two, one, bam, take it down. Good, what I was gonna say, that's like a complete honor to be able to do this every single week with you guys. Like I love this. I love meeting you here. I love talking to you guys in the comments. I love seeing all the awesome things you guys say. I love giving you guys something that gives me joy because this is my peace, this is my happiness. And it makes me feel good. I'm a pretty simple human being. I don't need extravagant things. I don't need to go spend a bunch of money. I just need to keep myself connected to myself. Always feel rooted. And I hope you guys feel the same. All right. Rachel, done with the feels. We have 90 seconds left of this workout. You have one more option. Again, you can stay at a 4060. You can keep it fast. You can keep it breathy and cool down on your own. Or you can come with me. I'm gonna take it down. 0.2, point 0.3 point for the last minute of our 60 minute walking workout in three, in two, and one. <sighs> Just enjoy it guys. We put our body through some stuff today. If you're not big into like moving your body at all and you walk this whole entire time, you gotta give yourself credit. 60 minutes, 60 minutes, 
Who says minutes like that? It's like 60 minutes. 60 minutes is, uh, it is hard. It is hard work. And you should be proud of yourself. 45 seconds. Remember to hydrate, remember to stretch. I know it's easier said than done. I say it to myself all the time. If you're gonna be at home watching a movie at the end of the night, as much energy as it takes to move yourself from the couch to the floor, because it does take every ounce of energy, do it. Just roll yourself there like a roly poly and start stretching. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. After a while, this becomes addicting. Yeah. You can find that stop button in 10, in nine, in eight, you got five, four, three, two, one. Hit that stop button. Remember, this is Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel. This was your 60 minute treadmill walk. I'll see you guys next time.